Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Ida Jackson with the Solar Energy Technology Adoption and the American Experience um, interview panel. And I am have received your consent to allow audio recording, correct? Yes. Um, you have declined your name being recorded, correct? Yes. And you have also completed the um, informant demographic survey? Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with the instructions. Good afternoon. My name is Ida Jackson. On behalf of the research team, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. This interview will involve two parts. The first part is a brief demographic survey, which you will be able to fill out via an anonymous digital survey. The second part will involve a brief set of questions about your perception and experiences with rooftop solar power. Our ob objective is to document the stories behind why Georgians do or do not adopt solar energy. There are no right or wrong answers. We want to hear what you honestly feel, what you honestly think and feel. So again, before we've gotten start, before we start, you have agreed via consent to um, complete the survey. Yes. Okay. Would you like um, to receive a copy of that consent via email or by mail? Email is fine. Okay. Have you included your email address on the document? Yes. Okay. Question number one. Well, I'm going to first to identify, are you a homeowner or do you rent? Rent. Okay. What type of structure do you have? Single family detached, multi-unit townhome, multi-unit condo, or, or apartment? Uh, what was the first? Single family detached. Single family. Okay. What is an approximate date of your move-in? How long have you lived there? I have been there almost nine years. Okay. So, around early... 2010. 2010, okay. All right. Have you always lived in Wilkes County? No. Okay. Can you tell me... Um, where you other places you lived or how you ended up here? Clark County. I lived in Clark County for from ninety nine, around January ninety nine to December of O three. What would you say brought you back here? Uh my family. Okay. So you grew up here though? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's interesting that you would leave and come back. So, how would you describe your home? In what kind of way? Um, so, I live in a pretty, a rather large home with um, it's, over it's, four bedrooms. It has three bedrooms, one bath with a single car garage. Okay. And it's a brick home. Okay. So, have you... Ever invested in solar, either on the roots on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as a part of your business, or as a part of your a program for your utility company? No. Have you ever considered investing in solar? No. No. Okay. Ever thought about it before? I think it would probably save money. Okay. Why would why would you say you don't have um, rooftop solar? Do you think I know you told me that you were a renter? So would, do you think that would be a decision that you could make at this stage, or that would be a, de a decision of the homeowner? It'll be a decision of the homeowner. Okay. Would you, if it was available, want solar? Yes. Yes. Why would you say? I think it's cost effective and it would save money. Okay. How 
How's your um, utility bills now? How much are they? How would you say, or you think they reasonable? Do you think they're extreme? I think it's extreme. For the size of your home? Or? Yes. Okay. Very extreme for the size of the home. Okay. If you had the option, would you put rooftops all on your home at this point? Yes. Okay. So I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. Here's a map of the United States. It's blank. I'm going to give you a pen. And where do you think people have the most um, rooftop solar energy on their homes across the state, across the various states in the United States? And could you draw that on the map? You can, like, shade it in or... Okay. I would say Texas. Texas, okay. So you've identified Texas as um, where most people have solar energy. What make what do you think makes that community different from here in Wilkes County? I would have to say the temperatures. The temperatures, are, the temperatures would be better. Okay. Because of their like year round temperatures. Okay. So we're going to leave the map. Thank you for shading in. Let's just talk about um, here in Georgia. So if you look at this second map here. In what community in Georgia do you think people have most rooftop solar on their home Ooh. in the state of Georgia? That's a tricky one. I would think probably of, say maybe the Atlanta area. More the metro area? More the metro area. Okay. What do you think would make people um so different from people here in, say, a rural community in the Atlanta area? Probably they have more access to it. Like, they would be... Um, what am I trying to say? Is cost wise, cost or? cost wise, and is maybe the opportunity. Um, am, am I saying it right? Like the opportunity, or like they have like people in more that resources. area more resources to okay. get it done. Okay. More resources to get it done. Okay. In that in the metro area. So you said cost. You said um, resources mm -hmm. and. Um, and it's probably advertised more in that area. Okay. To where, you know, people actually know about it. As okay. in the rural areas, it's not advertised as more. Okay. Okay. So you, how do you, do you think people in Wilkes County have solar on their rooftop? No. No. Okay. Why do you think? I don't think it's really advertised here more. Okay. Awareness. Awareness about it. Um, to let people know that you do have an option uh -huh. to get this in order to save on, like, your energy bills. Okay. What about most of your close friends, friends here in the state of Georgia? Do, you, do they have solar on their roof? No. Why do you think they don't? Mm, probably not aware of it. Okay. Or not aware of it, so they don't think of it as being an option. Okay. Okay. Question, that was question 11. That was our last question. Um, in closing, I, I want to thank you for taking time to talk to me about your, your views on rooftop solar. I had that. Um, an absolutely wonderful time. If after I leave you have any concerns about your participation in this study, please feel free to reach out and contact the project lead, which is Jacqueline T. 
tit well, as we discussed, and that information will also be in your consent form. Thank you.